Hi guys, this is Liam here with coming to you with my first ever video on YouTube. And today we are in my uh, little thir my uh, snapshot test world and we have a tutorial on NBT data tags and how to use them in command blocks. So, firstly we're going to be starting with a already shorn sheep. That's right, a sheep that is summoned in and it is shorn. You don't have to clip it. You don't have to use your shears. All you do is click a button, and you have a sheep with no wool. Shut up, sheep. Anyways, I don't like sheep. <laughs> so, here is the command. Basically, what you do is you do slash sum summon sheep, and then this is like your wherever, you know, in rel relatively to the command block, so wherever you want it. Uh, so this would be up, this would be, I don't know, and this, it, it really depends on your world and where you place it, but, um, and then you'd put these curly brackets, sheared, colon, and then one for sheared, or shorn, and, uh, zero for not shorn. <laughs> so that's basically that, and, um, oh, by the way, I got all these, uh, NBT data tags from a website, and the reason why I'm making this video is because it's just hard to put them into the command block form, because they don't specifically tell you how. Uh, so my next one is a, uh, is how to do a bat upside down. I'm gonna come over here for this. So here we have our block of wood, and, uh, I'm going to now summon a bat under here, hanging from here. And now, the reason why I'm over here is because when you come close to a bat, it, um, let's see, what does it say? Oh, it flies away. And, you know, you don't want it to fly away c unless, you know, it's part of the map. So, click this, and there it is, summoned in, sitting there. Let me run up to it real quick and punch it. I have, I have strength on, um, but you can't see it because I have my particles off. So, if I threw this, you couldn't see it. But, um, that command is slash summon bat, and then, you know, of course, this is ten blocks over that way. Uh, then there's, this is the middle one. I hope you guys can see the mouse. I'm pretty sure you can. And then, uh, this is, uh, whatever. This is also. And then we have curly brackets. Bat flags. Don't ask me why it's called that. Make sure you have all the caps right. And then colon one. And then end curly brackets. And uh, all of these will be in the description down below. This one's really cool. It's also outdated as of the new set block thing that they had a little while ago. And, you know. So, but this is using falling sand, and it's a, su a sign with text. Now, I actually came up with this a long time ago. Like, right around, you know, 13W38A. A, you know, all that. But, um, and then Simply Sart came out later before I could, you know, make a video and stuff with uh, his signed password thing. So, and it, it basically does the same thing. So what you're going to do here is, and of course you would, um, you wouldn't need half of this. It's just falling sand. You'd just want to convert it into set block stuff. But it's slash summons so falling sand. And then tile ID is 63 because that's a sign. And then the time has to be anything b above zero. Don't ask me why. It just means so it doesn't immediately just disappear. And then tile entity data. And then you'd put in curly brackets text one and then whatever. And you could have text two, text three, text four if you wanted to go down. Now um, just remember you know your curly brackets and also you for set block I'm guessing you just put this you wouldn't need any of this other stuff uh... so we'll break that uh... this one is a high value xp level uh, i'll just show you this it's it just gives you two levels per xp thingy um... i won't show you because you can't see it in creative and stuff basically summon xp orb and then the value can be whatever you want it, it doesn't it doesn't mean it gives you a hundred levels i don't know why but uh, Minecraft counting things are weird. Um, next we have, oh, this one's really cool. This one is a, I just realized, why is this chicken in here? Oh, wait, wait, why is it frozen? Why is my, sorry, my mouse just froze, I don't know why. Uh, that chicken. Alright, um, next we have a cat, but this is no ordinary cat. I mean, this is not just an ocelot. This is a tamed ocelot with a tuxedo skin. And it's tamed for me. And now you could have it tamed for anybody you want. You could have it so it's only tamed for Sky, does Minecraft. I'm guessing. I could be wrong. But so this is a cat. It's totally tamed. You can. Oh. Oh. Right. Uh. 
trying to make it sit. Well, y you get the idea. So, that's how to make it sit. We'll just make it sit so it doesn't follow me all around. This one is an invulnerable pig on fire. What I did to get rid of it is is I made a hole down to the void. You can't really get rid of it. I've done this before, obviously. So, what we'll do is we'll just summon it in there. And this pig's on fire. You could also just do fire. Um, whatever. Fire potion effect, whatever, fire resistance. But, uh, I just did this because I was bored. So, yeah, and there you go. He'll disappear into the void. It's all nice and good. Bye, Mr. Sheep. I mean, pig. This one's interesting because, did I not show you the command for these two? Right. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this is the cat. And it's summon Ozzelot. Don't ask why it's a Z. Um, and then Tilda, and this is just up one, so it doesn't die suffocating in the block. Owner, I'm sorry, yeah, so it would be owner, you wouldn't put tamed or whatever. Owner, colon, lovebug53, and then cat type would be one. You, you can go onto this one website, I'll have the download link in the description. Not download link, you know what I mean. And, uh, the link in the description, and then you can go there and find all of this stuff. And this is, uh, and then it'll tell you all that. And then the fire pig is a summon pig, and then this is just inside that pen, and then invulnerable is just one, so that makes it, one is invulnerable, zero is not, you you wouldn't put it at zero because it's like, why put in all that, but, and then, oops, and then fire is 1,000, so I think that's for how long it's on fire, so I think it'll eventually go out, but, uh, yeah. Then this one's an interesting one, because I thought it would, uh, start because I thought, oh, it would be really cool if you could have a jukebox that just starts playing music. Well, this one's interesting because I thought it just it just didn't work. So it summons it here, and this is using Falling Sand again because before set block, whatever. And I thought, well, okay, this thing's cool, but it doesn't it didn't work. So then I decided I'd break, and then I broke it. So the disc does come out. There is a disc, indeed, a disc that comes out. So there is a disc in there. But it just doesn't start playing. I don't know why I tried updating it, like putting a block next to it. Block update didn't work. Um, so basically, Falling Sand and all the other stuff that applies the other one, it would be 84. Also, for a set block, you'd just have it be 84. But um, And then you just probably just need the curly brackets. And then it would say record. And then there's like a list of record things. You could probably just look it up, I think. Or maybe it might have it on the website. I don't know. Just look up Minecraft record IDs or whatever. Or no, maybe go to a Minecraft ID list and it'll have it. So next, this one is actually a squirt dude thing, and my particles are off. So let me um, turn those on real quick so I can show you. Did I show you? Yeah, I, I did show you the um, the command for that. I keep forgetting. No, wrong. <laughs> right. Uh, particles all done. Now of course you're gonna have a bunch of particle effects now around me. And uh, but uh, so this is squirt dudes. And there you go, and that, and then also I made a little invention with this, and like see you've got your, you've got your wire going to this, and you turn it on, and then the TNT starts smoking. This is kind of like a party gag kind of thing. It doesn't actually do anything, and what it is is if you haven't seen Squirt Dude's video, it's a, uh, it's literally just an inverted slime, and when they appear, they immediately die. And so they just immediately suffocate, and then I guess they're invisible for some reason. And then when a, any animal or player, I guess, dies, smoke appears. So that's how that's done. And then of course my CNT thing is literally just a timer. And this is it's just a hopper clock, and this is turning off the hopper. And the 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 tripwire has nothing to do with that, but uh, that's just for effects. So next we have a minecart with a block above it. Now this one's really handy. I have a little invention over there, as you can see. Maybe that minecart is like going back and forth there. Uh, that command block, I mean. So that's that's really cool. And basically, how that's done is it uses utilizes the minecart thing. And this one is just with one in it. And I was gonna be all like, "Oh yeah, they came out with a new command block minecart, and blah blah blah." And then they actually came out with it. And that kind of ruined the whole joke. So. Yeah, but that's how you do it. I just put 137. That's command block. Although you could have it be anything. You could even have it be stone. You could have it be anything you want. 
just put in the item ID. Or it, it can't be an item though, it has to be a block. This has to be a one. I can't remember why. I, I built this quite a while back, as you can see by the falling sand thing. But um and then display tile has to be one thirty seven. And then display offset is is uh I put that at five so it sits up a bit. But if you put this to zero, it just sits a bit lower. But you can set this I think it's twenty for every block you want it to go up. So if we set it at twenty then this will go, then the command block will be up by one block. That's how I did the, that one over there, the thing. Ugh. Um, right, so we'll just put that back to five. I should probably just fix this after the carding, but whatever. Oh, right. This is just a baby cat. Um, same thing. This is, and it's also, dang. No. Please get out of the sign. Please, maybe. Uh, sit, sit. There we go. Sit. All right, and that's just baby. And I think it'll like, and you can set how long it will be a baby. I don't know how long is infinite, but this one is uh, it's summon ozalot. Like, yeah, you can see it's just slash summon here. Okay, slash summon ozalot again. Don't know what the Z is all about. And then the these. These are just the size, obviously. And then uh, curly brackets. Owner, same as the old cat. I mean, the other cat. It's all the same as the other cat, except we have age. Now, age is actually, if you want it to be a baby, you can put it to negative. So this is for 1,000 ticks, I'm guessing. So it's negative 1,000, or not ticks, probably not ticks. I don't know. But basically, this is for how long it's going to be a baby. That's it. Uh, this one is how to summon a wither skeleton. And so this is just a cool wither skeleton. Obviously, you have to put in what it's holding. It won't just spawn in with the cust. I mean, normal item, which is weird. But anyways, we don't like. It. All right, so uh, we actually we actually skip this presentation because it's a uh, shows off something else. So I won't show you that right now. But uh, here we have. Oops. Right. Here we have an Enderman that can carry any item. Why is my mouse freezing up? There we go. So this is an Enderman that can carry any item. I'll explain that in a second. You can. This is what carrying TNT. This will kill. I can kill him instantly because I have strength, as I told you. Um. Oh, I just realized. Are these particle effects? Nah, it will be fine. And you can have him carry any of the following. I mean, any of the following block. This is really cool. Um. Let me throw out this. This one's really cool. Basically, what it is, is you can now get a book with a custom name, which you can already do, and a custom uh, title. I mean, not title, author, right. And so, I'll throw this out, and you can change it to anything you want. I could have this be, Blueberry Boy is a superhero I made up, ignore that. <laughs> uh, I could have it be Sky the Kid RS. And it's uh, it's by Sky the Kid RS, which is really cool. So you can do so many things. You can do any person you want. I could do anybody. Uh, we'll just do uh, well. In fact, in fact, you could do your name. You could have it be by Liam, so or whatever your name is. My name's Liam. If I haven't mentioned that, um, and you could change also the title by going into, you know, this and changing it. But basically, um, so how this works. I don't even know if you need the damage zero, actually, I just realized, but, eh, so you, you might want to try and test it out. But, so you do slash give, at P, 387, which is the, uh, ID number for a written book, and then one of them, and I can't remember, you have to have two, I think, just leave one of them as one, I can't remember which is one, but, uh, and then damage zero, I don't know if you need to have that. Um, author, make sure it's not capitalized. And then you have to put this. Don't worry, they won't show up the quotations. Um, title, no caps. And then you don't need quotation for this, but they'll show up anyway. I don't know why. And then uh, in the curly brackets, I don't know how to do text. So if someone will please inform me. Also, this one is not in the website that I'm going to put down below. But if someone will please tell me how to put in text, I will be indebted to them. So, and I believe, yeah, see, because there's no text, but there's, oh gosh, I think there's like one more, but I, you know what, if I remember, I'll probably be putting it in anyways, so, 
Um, right, don't want to show you too much of my inventions. Uh, because I'm going to be showing off some of these later, so I don't want to show you too much. Like, like uh, I've got a few surprises up my sleeve. Anyways, I think that's it. That's all. So, thank you for watching, guys. And, um, please feel free to bludgeon the like button as well as the subscribe button. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. And, uh, I will see you all later. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.